In Liberia, more than 60% of the country's electricity is stolen annually through illegal connections. Liberia Electricity Corporation says about $35 million is being drained from its coffers every year and that it needs to tap every cent to rebuild the country's power sector and boost supply. The sight of a technician climbing up an electricity pole in Monrovia is not a welcome sight these days for most people living in Liberia's capital. The Liberia Electricity Corporation, LEC, says that about 60% of its annual output is being stolen. The state-owned utility has launched a widespread crackdown on homes and businesses that have illegally connected to the grid. Founded by freed American slaves, Liberia is Africa's oldest modern republic. The country's infrastructure and public services were destroyed during civil conflicts between 1989 to 2003. Efforts at post-war recovery have been short-circuited by falling prices of Liberia's main exports, iron ore and rubber, and an Ebola outbreak from 2014 to 2016. We we're in discussions with the, uh, the Ministry of, of Justice and uh, we're hoping to get some traction on those discussions with a view to moving uh, the theft of electricity from not a misdemeanor but to uh, felony and perhaps classifying it as economic sabotage because effectively that's what's happening. But many of Monrovia's residents are charged up. They say the LEC should focus on quickly resolving problems in its supply chain rather than being in such a hurry to cut their cords. I can't sleep in darkness. The reason why people are doing this thing because LEC, they're not trying to strategize. You understand? They need to come up with strategies where the Liberian people will get covered easily. We get the money, you understand, to pay to follow the procedure. But anytime you go there, they say there's no meter, there's no meter, there's no meter. I got two restaurants are running here. Before I even got a meter, we're not easy. You understand? The reason why I bypass that same thing, I just moved in this community. Helen Pocolo, another Monrovia-based entrepreneur, urges a more inclusive approach in which communities could help the LEC stop people from stealing power. I don't have electricity. I have to rely on my generator. But then I can't afford to have all my things on it. I'm appealing to the LEC to come to our rescue. We go to their office all the time. If they would just supply us, we could then stop people from tampering with the line. But because there's no solution to give us electricity, that's why people keep doing illegal things. It is estimated that only 12% of Liberia's 4.7 million people can plug into the country's current capacity of 126 megawatts. Liberia's overall demand for electricity is expected to climb to about 300 megawatts by 2030.